The most terrifying images found on Roblox. There's a lot of games that are found to have disturbing images, but where do they come from? And are they linked to something as equally terrifying? From images tied to real life creepy encounters to others having an even darker history, I'm going to take a look at some of these dark images and try to find the source of where they could be. So I went on Roblox and I just typed in creepy ghost and I did a lot of scrolling and at some point I managed to find this image right here, which as you can see, there's two kids looking down at something and then in the background is a dark silhouette of some dark entity. And then they also have like some creepy eyes too. <laughs> but it did get me curious as to where this came from. So I got the image and put it into Google Images and I managed to find this Reddit post right here. And so from here, we've got an even higher quality, which kind of got me thinking that this is like from a movie or something. And thanks to this YouTuber Sakura Stardust, she was able to find out that this image came from this film, Tales of Terror from Tokyo, which uh, as you can see, it's got a lot of uh, creepy images. <laughs> so they're waving and then behind them stands a dark entity. Again, they don't know that it's behind them and it's just kind of left at that. But then how did this other image have its eyes? Where did that come from? Well, another YouTuber, Morbid for Fun, pointed out that the eyes could have easily been photoshopped from this scene right here, where this little girl is scared of something, and then uh, that's when they realize that someone else is in the room. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty creepy. <laughs> I mean, yeah, those eyes could have been photoshopped to the other picture. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna close out this link here. <laughs> All right, but now we move on to probably one of the most terrifying and popular images on Roblox, and that's uh, that's Jeff the Killer. As you can see, there's a lot of different games about him. Jeff the Killer right there, and there's even like anime versions of Jeff the Killer. Yeah, a lot of people. Uh, really, really like him. <laughs> I mean, he's even found indoors as an entity. And when Little Angel's Daycare was hacked and turned into Little Devil's Daycare, Jeff the Killer was used as a jump scare. So after one minute of being in the game, this scary image would just pop up. But now the question lies, where did the image come from? A lot of us know Jeff the Killer being a popular creepypasta. And this was posted back in August 12th of 2012. And the story pretty much details a person who got burns on their face and now looks like this. And he haunts other people. Ooh. And so a lot of people started trying to figure out where the image came from. And I've explained this image before, but now we've got some more information. So for those of you who don't know, many believe that Jeff the Killer was a Photoshop version of overly attached girlfriend, which I mean, you know, I can kind of see it. I mean, she she definitely has a few creepy images photoshopped of her, <laughs> but it's not exactly accurate. This guy believes that this image was photoshopped to be Jeff the Killer, which again is incorrect. It's actually just a false mock-up. And so even though Jeff the Killer was posted on Creepypasta in 2012, it actually dates back a few years earlier because originally it was posted in 2008 on Newgrounds. And sometime after it was posted on Newgrounds, this 4chan user posted this image stating, that they found their sister crying after she posted her picture on a website 4chan where a lot of people made fun of her and posting shops of her. One of the photoshops being Jeff the Killer. And so many people actually believed this story and thought that this was the origin of Jeff the Killer. Up until 2015 when the original creator of the Jeff the Killer story admitted where he got the picture from. And he stated that this picture was made using a white latex mask and some big plastic eyes with red rubber substance that simulated blinking. So uh, that's kind of creepy. <laughs> There's also a black ring around the eyes that were on the covering that exposed red eyelid. After was made, two or three pictures were taken and posted. The rest is history. And so a lot of people actually believed it. I mean, he's the original creator of the story, right? Well, while he might have written the story, as to how he got this picture, he's actually a liar. Because there's even an earlier Jeff the Killer image in this Japanese video here that was posted in August 2nd of 2007 on YouTube. Okay, we're in like some school hallway. Oh, ew, I don't like this statue here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's the image. There's Jeff the Killer right there. What do the comments say about this? Can't believe Jeff made a cameo appearance in this. The multiverse is truly opening. Apparently the text that pops up on the screen said, have a good night or sleep well. Oh, and then the other text at the beginning says that these are tomorrow's victims. <laughs> okay. I guess that video is trying to scare other people as well. Okay. Someone commented, for those curious, there's an urban legend that when there was still color bars on television, at late night, there would be a special broadcast that would stream the list of people with their ages. So yeah, I guess they just did this video as like a prank okay <laughs> and so is this video the origin of jeff the killer no because people found an even earlier version which was posted on this like image forums back in 2005 and yeah as you can see this is the actual image of jeff the killer the eyes are definitely a lot different and it's honestly a bit more innocent looking too but is there anything else known about this image well this is where people started theory hunting because there is actually a google docs that's constantly being updated people even managed to find out that the eyes were originally from a mr potato head toy from 1999 and so the biggest theory is that the jeff the killer image is actually a Photoshop version of this girl known as Mariko. People have run some tests and compared the face structures. I mean, the hair on the top of the head definitely matches as well. But now we move on to another popular image known as Obunga. Yeah, you can see right here, Survival, the Obama, the Killer. Obama in Area 51. Oh, wow, there's actually a couple of games about this image. But yeah, the reason why they don't put in Obunga is because it is a banned phrasing in Roblox. So yeah, Obunga at one point was really popular in Nico's next bot, which uh, he'll hunt down the player and everything. <laughs> it was also added to the Roblox game Evade, but it Again, was also removed due to Roblox moderation for discriminatory content. Proximity audio, what is this? 
<laughs> okay, that sounds pretty funny. But yeah, as to how this imager was created and where it originated from, well, the earliest archived instance was on 4chan, because of course everything is posted on 4chan, in the year 2013. And it pretty much got popular over the years, more knowingly back in 2018 when it was used in like Five Nights at Freddy's jump scares. <laughs> Uh-oh. Freddy? <laughs> yeah, there, there's the image. Oh, look, there's uh, someone made a Sans version of it. But yeah, it is a Photoshop image to resemble the creatures from the manga Terraformers. So yeah, here's the Obunga image. And then here's one of the creatures from Terraformers. And if you don't know what Terraformers is, it's a manga about roaches that were sent to a different planet. And then they evolved into like these beefy creatures. Hello. They're also, uh, they're also very violent. <laughs> but now I move on to another creepy image I found. And this one has a pretty dark history as well. So the game is called Really Scary Game Do Not Play. And as you can see, the image is a person holding down their cheeks, exposing their very giant white eyeballs. <laughs> um, so I was able to reverse image this here. And I very quickly found out that it got popular from a Markiplier video. Three Scary Games number 29. So yeah, the image is actually one of his thumbnails. But after doing a lot of scrolling on Google, I managed to find an even earlier version of this image on the internet. And it's on this website called Flickr which is like a place where you could upload your photography. And so yeah, this is a photographer's name. And this is the image called Scary Face, which is uploaded back in 2009. Now, what's interesting about this is that the rest of his images are quite normal. There's fireworks, there's the city, there's many soccer slash football images here. Pretty much many normal, regular images. And then just seemingly out of nowhere, he posted this creepy image and that's it. He just stopped posting. We don't know where he went or anything. I mean, maybe he moved to Instagram or something. I don't know. All right, but the next creepy image I found on Roblox is this one here, Brookhaven Ghost Invasion. And as you you can see the image has literally nothing to do with Brookhaven. <laughs> I mean, it appears to be like some sort of bride or a woman in a white dress just kind of eerily staring at you. And behind her appears to be a blank path, kind of like she's in the middle of nowhere. And so I tried to throw this image on Google Images, and I was pretty much linked to a lot of different ghost encounter videos on YouTube. Like there's this one here called 14 Scary Highway Ghost Encounters, okay? Two friends are riding down the Karela Highway in India. Yeah. When they see what they later agree has to have been a ghost of some kind. Oh. Oh, I don't like this. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty scary. There's also this ghost encounter too. <laughs> this is a dash cam on the road. Oh, I don't like this. Okay, that, that, that's gotta be fake, right? <laughs> and then I was also linked this video, Saudi Arabia police encounter a real witch, okay? Oh, is she, is she dancing? In the middle of the streets? Uh, wh why is this so common? Wait, what do the comments say about this? <laughs> Better run before she throws a potion of slowness at you. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, but after some more Googling, I managed to find the source of the original image, which is actually just an eye stock photo. And so yeah, the description here says, One woman, she masked herself in a scary witch for Halloween, standing on the street black and white. So yeah, I guess it's just like a reference to like all these other creepy ghost encounter videos. And you know, honestly, job well done with this photo. It's actually really terrifying. But yeah, if you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.